Hello, this is Ron Turner, and this is my screencast on the video investigation, investigation for Before the Flood. So, th a couple of things I really enjoyed about this documentary. One is right off the bat, Leonardo DiCaprio talks about how, you know, he's, he's only an actor and how he himself has some doubts and, you know, he uses the quote, maybe they picked the wrong guy. Um, I like that a lot because it kind of takes out the, you know, hater aspect out of you know our narrator and our star of the documentary and and just allows us to get into the facts the second thing i liked was actually the fact about the shrinking ice caps and the north pole disappearing and the big statistic or uh, piece of information about by 2040 we're going to be able to sail through the north pole and i thought that was a a big you know eye-opening you know piece of information and the second thing i liked is how the documentary used, you know, world leaders as, you know, interviewees and, and got their perspective on what needs to change and what's happening right now. So I thought that was a big, a big plus for the documentary. So is it happening or not? So we have some evidence, obviously, the documentary talked about um, the rising average temperature and how the burning of fossil fuels is contributing to that dramatically. So there's one piece of evidence. Secondly is the coral reefs dying. I love this image because it shows you what it looks like healthy. It shows you what it looks like when it's sick and it shows you what it looks like once it's dead. And, you know, the documentary talked a lot about how the increase in temperature is causing this to happen and, and the reefs are going to be the first to go. Um, another, you know, evidence is like before the shrinking ice caps. And I thought this image did a really good job of showing how small that is getting. Now, of course, it's going to get a little bigger and a little smaller and a little bigger and a little smaller as, as years pass. But overall, you can see, you know, this mass here is now turning into this mass here and that ice is just getting thinner and thinner. So there's some more evidence for us. What can we do? Um, vote. I think voting is one of the biggest things. We kind of all, I think, know or hopefully we know, uh, you know, that some parties have agendas and some parties are fueled by different kinds of money. And, you know, fossil fuel money is a, is a big booster in politics right now. So if we can vote to start taking that out of the equation, we can start moving towards more sustainable energy sources and hopefully lower those those side effects that we're having. Um, another one is just make daily choices. You know, I'm not expecting everybody to ride to work every day, um, but I think there's small things that we can do on a daily um, scope that can help lower our carbon footprint. So for example, if you have a store nearby and you need to go to the grocery store, think to yourself, can I ride my bike and carry what I need rather than drive a car? Um, if you have an event that you're going to, maybe you live in Tempe and you're going to mill, can I ride my bike instead of driving my car? You know, small things like that. The documentary talked about you um, making dietary choices and the fastest thing was to not eat beef. I myself am, am not eating beef anymore and haven't for a little while. And I think that, you know, that's a, a strong way in, in moving in the right direction, something we can do. And one, here's my references. So once again, my name is Ronald Turner, and I hope you appreciated my screencast. Thank you very much.